डियर स्टूडेंट्स नीट पी जी ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर इज अराउंड फिफ्टी डेज अवे इट्स दैट टाइम ऑफ द ईयर वेन स्टूडेंट स्टार्ट आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन इज इट स्टिल पॉसिबल इज इट स्टिल डूएबल एंड इफ येस देन वॉट शुड बी द प्लान वॉट शुड बी द रिसोर्सेज लेट्स डिस्कस ऑल ऑफ दैट इन दिस वीडियो नाउ इफ यूर एम इज टू गेट अ रैंक अंडर टेन और अंडर हंड्रेड इन नीट पी जी फिफ्टी डेज कैन नेवर बी इनफ बट इफ यू आर समबडी हु इज लुकिंग टू गेट अ रैंक लाइक थाउजेंड और टू थाउजेंड और फोर थाउजेंड फिफ्टी डेज आर मोर देन इनफ फिफ्टी डेज आर मोर देन इनफ सी दिस दिस क्वेश्चन मे नॉट बी द राइट क्वेश्चन टू आस्क वेदर दीज नंबर ऑफ डेज आर इनफ आर नॉट बिकॉज बिफोर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू आस्क समथिंग एल्स विच इज मोर इंपॉर्टेंट are you doing your best my simple question is before you start talking about the logistics before you start talking about the number of days left my question is are you doing your best can you can you honestly answer this question and then i'll uh, i'll suggest a very simple exercise go and stand in front of a mirror look deep into your in, in, in your own eyes and ask this question am i doing enough am i putting enough efforts am i working to the best of my capabilities do it it's a very unsettling thing why because when you are looking into your own eyes you cannot lie do it and for most of you the answer would be no how can you not do your best when your exam is 45 or 50 days away do i have to remind you the the things that are at stake the result that you get in this examination would determine the branch that you are going to get which is going to stay with you for the rest of your life what are you going to do in these 50 days is going to determine whether you work for something that you love or whether you settle for something that you never liked and that and this this thing is going to continue for the rest of your life so the stakes are as big as they can get and don't you owe this much to yourself don't you owe this much to yourself that you should be doing whatever is possible to ensure that the remaining 50 60 65 years of your life you are doing something that you love so stakes cannot be bigger this video is primarily for people who are still struggling if you are somebody who is whose preparation is on track then probably you should not you should not even be watching this video right go revise whatever you want to do but if you are somebody who is still struggling this is something that you must remember for an entrance exam like neat pg or fmg or ini ct for that matter the race remains wide open till the very end why you must be seeing around you that as we come closer to the exam the anxiety starts to peak the anxiety starts going up in these last days it's not only about how many hours you can put it's not not only about uh, how much information you can retain it's also about your mental strength can you handle this pressure unfortunately lot of people fail in this third parameter it is very difficult to handle the pressure for some people and that is why again i would say it's very unfortunate many students who have been working pretty nicely throughout the year they start dropping out of the race they say that it's it's too much i cannot get selected it's just not happening with me and they say that i would try next year and it keeps on happening that is why new slots keep on opening it's it's the it's the unfortunate truth of an exam like neat pg so that is why the race is still wide open you you think in your head that my friend was has been studying for 9 months my friend has been studying for 10 months how can i crack the exam in the last 50 days this is a reason because many of them would be dropping out of the race second thing humanely it's very difficult to stay at the same peak level for 9 months 10 months or 12 months people tend to start burning out some people find it difficult to maintain that pace and many students who start very late because they are starting late because they are able to peak just before the examination they end up giving you surprising result another important thing is when you have 12 months for your preparation sometimes or i should not even say sometimes most of the of the times you are lost 
you find it very difficult to decide what to study from where to study you want to study more and more you forget that the time is a limiting factor but when you are studying for 50 days 45 days 60 days you know that only this much time is available and then you plan accordingly so the race is wide open and see why why i became a big proponent of this 40 day 50 day 60 day planning because i have discussed it multiple times in the past i would again discuss it discuss the same because of what happened with me i i cracked my entrance examination in only 40 days i am not a genius i don't have any special memory my capacity to work hard is also limited but it happened uh, i i had gone to us for my uh, step to cs and at that time i decided that i would pursue usmle after staying in us for almost 6 months i came back to india somewhere in december and my exam was in the first week of february when i came back home the big question was aims exam had already happened pg exam had already happened the only exam i had was the state pg and the big question was should i even prepare for it and initially i thought that it's too less it's too less but then i thought that let me let me give it a shot and i got 40 days now 40 days appear to be a small number 50 days appear to be a small number but when you multiply it with 10 to 12 hours a day you have got 500 hours or 600 hours now we are talking about some serious business 500 to 600 hours you have got can you crack the exam now the answer is big yes when i came back home in those 40 days i forgot everything else in the world i would wake up in the morning the only thought that would come in my mind would be the date i would think about the date i think it was 6th or 7th or 8th of feb i would think 8th feb so many days left 38 days left right and i would start studying i would study for 30 40 minutes then would do breakfast and then would study in those 40 days i studied like never before i was always a good student slightly better than average but i was never one of the toppers i always believed that i cannot work very hard i i had always seen students who are working for 10 hours 12 hours 13 hours i always believed that my maximum capability was to study for 8 hours a day or 9 hours a day during those 40 days i realized that it was not true because during those 40 days i constantly clocked more than 12 hours a day i was not even aware see i was like 25 26 years old like you guys are or maybe 24 years old and in those 24 years of life i did not even realize that that this is my capability your true capabilities come out when you decide that this is something that needs to be done and when you remove all the ifs and buts when you tell yourself that 40 days you have gotten 400 hours you have for 480 hours you have now you have to do it and and then you start doing something that you were not even aware of during those 40 days the mantra of my life was sacrifice sacrifice on sacrifices on every aspect before starting the preparation i called two of my good friends and i told them please don't call me i am studying i would not be able to take your calls i do not really have time for even 10 minutes of gossips i called my mother i called my father that ma i am studying papa i am studying and and i i went from my home to the hostel i told them that i am studying please don't call me whenever i get time i would call you my one of my best friends was getting married during those 40 days he called me he told me that see i know you are studying but it's just half a day please come for me and i told him yaar you are my best friend one of my good friends and i really like you you are like my brother but at this point of time there is nothing in my life that is more important than this, than this exam and i did not go he kept on saying that it's only 4 hours but those 4 hours were very precious for me sacrifice 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 you have to sacrifice everything you have to stop talking to your parents you can call them when you are free you have to sacrifice talking to your friends you have to sacrifice talking to your girlfriend or boyfriend right all these things need to go because the only thing that can occupy your mind in these last days is that damn exam it's a stupid exam it's a it's it's an idiotic exam but that exam is going to decide your future a significant part of your future that is why we have to do something that we have never done before we have to make it our preoccupation 
as a psychiatrist i cannot use the word obsession but if that works better for you then so it be that 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 should be the raging preoccupation of your life you have to remember yourself every morning when you get up that particular date during these 40 days i was living in the hostel i would eat the same food every day it was a, there was a restaurant or a dhaba nearby and uh, i would order biryani every day why because they would deliver biryani in 10 to 12 minutes i can still remember faintly the taste of that biryani because i ate the same damn thing every day i did not have the time to waste in the mess and you know wait for food to be delivered for 30 minutes or go out right these are the sacrifices that we are talking about my routine was very simple i would study for around 60 minutes to 90 minutes and then would listen to two songs uh, i i grew up listening to the songs of movie lagan and i always find them very inspirational whatever song whatever whatever you like something that pumps you up i would i would listen to those two songs i would not stare at the screen of the phone we did not have smartphones at that time but i would not stare at the screen of the smartphones or uh, i would not basically my idea was that do something that would relax you that would not put further stress on your mind and that is why i chose songs they would relax me they would pump me and i could just close my eyes i, I remember getting out of the hostel walking in front of the hostel listening to two songs sometimes three songs when i was tired and then going back another thing that i would not do i would not discuss my preparation with other students because that's a waste of time half of the students want to tell you that you know nothing and the other half are themselves anxious and they keep on passing your their anxiety to you right in these last days it's always better to you know keep within yourself i i still remember there were people who mocked me who made fun of me i remember this one gentleman i i still can i i can i can hear his voice i was i was sitting in the hostel there was a small canteen i was sitting there waiting for coffee and uh, i was we we had books at that time of course we did not had apps and all of that and i was doing the mcqs and in front of some mcqs i had written crosses and one guy came looked at my book and he was like he you do you think a joke is going on if if people started getting selected after 40 days of preparation then then anybody would get selected and because he was studying from the day one from january i had started studying in december i could not respond anything back to him at that time i was also a bit under confident i did not say anything back to him but that fired me even more you know what happened in the last i got selected he did not not that he was a bad student he was a good student he is a good guy also it's it's not, it's not that he is a bad guy but he could not pace his preparation properly in the end he did not have that fire that i had in my belly at that point of time it's all about that fire it's all about some sometimes i i use that phrase beyond the logic magic happens when you think about these things logically the answer is always going to be no can can you pass an entrance examination in 40 days no can you uh, go beyond somebody who has been studying from uh, day one no but in these things logic doesn't work because these are fact based exams these are fact based exams the capability of our mind to absorb facts is limited when you keep putting things into it some things keep getting out finally who can rectify the most in the end along with some things that need concept and finally who can vomit out that information on the day of the examination is what decides the results so that is why sometimes these logic do not work that i was studying from day one he started studying 40 days back how could he get selected or not me because logic doesn't work always but those 40 days told me something that there are, there has to be times in your life when you do something where you end surprising even yourself i surprised myself completely in those 40 days i had never expected myself to study that hard but i did and the same thing you have to do you have to do something that you have never done in your life you have to do something which is beyond the range that you imagine in your head today and then you will get a result that you would have never expected from yourself this is how these things happen again i i do not like the word crazy now as a psychiatrist but when you go crazy 
I'm, I'm talking about the day to day vocabulary here. When you go crazy about something, when, when that thing is what preoccupies your every minute of existence, when, when you are taking bath and when you are brushing your teeth and thinking about that exam, then magic starts to happen. And what you have to imagine, all this manifestation and all of that is something that we started seeing last two, three years, right? 2011, 2011, when I was preparing, we did not know what manifestation is. I did not know what manifestation is, but my routine was simple. I would every now and then close my eyes and I would imagine the day when the result would get published. I, I would, at that time, I think they used to publish the result. There's a place called as Patel Chess in Delhi, where they would uh, put the list. I would imagine after closing my eyes that the day has come, the list has been you know pasted on the wall or it is coming on the internet and it's 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 uh, seeking and then my name shows Praveen Tripathi and a rank in front of it and you know I would I would imagine that in great details that 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 day would come I would call my mother I would call my father how would I feel how would my life change I would I would imagine that and those three four minutes of imagination would give me a lot of energy they would pump me up I made many videos on the same thing that you can use those techniques but it worked like a charm it was beautiful so when when you can ensure that there is one thing around which your life revolves then that thing is very much achievable you know the, the that line in that movie itni shiddat se maine tumhe paane ki koshish ki hai ki har zarre ne mujhe tumse milane ki saazish ki hai sounds like a, a blind from a novel which actually it, it's a line from a novel that we have translated in hindi but these things are written in these classical novels because they are true. So stop thinking about 50 days, start thinking about 500 hours. My calculation is simple out of these 50 days, let us say that for two days or three days you took rest or you appeared for INIC or whatever it is. Still you have got 47 or 40 days left, 10 to 12 hours a day takes you to around 480 to probably 550 or 576 whatever it is 48 into 2 is 2 is 96 yeah it's 576 almost 480 to 576 hours almost 480 to 576 hours these are huge numbers let's let's just talk about 500 hours these are huge numbers can you get selected in 40 days or 50 days versus can you get selected while studying for 500 hours the answers become different this is what we have to think about. Now, please remember, we have to be very strong on facts. All the PYQs, all the PYTs should be on our fingertips. We have to be very strong. Some conceptual things, we cannot make a lot of concepts in the last 50 days, but few things which you can remain, retain easily, you should be covering that also. And PYQs are a must. So we have got 500 hours. We have understood that this exam is going to be extremely important for us. We know how to charge ourselves. We know how to pump ourselves. We know how to close our eyes and how to imagine that day of the result. But now the question is, how should we go about it? These are the resources that you would be going to use. Zainab has, Dr. Zainab has created beautiful videos in her BTR. They can form the core of your preparation but add to that some quick revision videos from some subjects which are very high scoring and from which we do not want you to make even a single mistake btr plus some quick revision videos i'll talk about what subjects pyqs extremely important extremely important and then i'll discuss about the marathon 8 pg which might be the trump card for your preparation Let's talk about these. Third May, fourth May, fifth May, whenever you are starting a preparation or whenever you're getting serious, the first 200 hours we have to give to revision videos and notes. Why not notes only? It might be difficult to retain notes only. But when you listen from a teacher who also tries to explain it, even if it is BTR, even if it is, if it is quick revision video, 
the teacher always tries to you know add something so that you can learn it not not just mug it it becomes easier to retain we will use videos we'll have printed notes in front of us and this is what we are going to do in 200 hours which is basically 20 days how will we do it in 200 hours this is how you are going to do it these are the duration of the btr video so so uh, i think uh, those of you who are aware of uh, how btr works notice then i have created some btr videos main core videos and then some some additional videos with, uh, which she calls bonus btr videos right so these btr videos are probably more important because they contain the they are very dense they contain the crux they they contain all the information bonus btr videos are add ons if you look at the btr videos they are of 48 hours duration quick revision videos overall they are of 180 hours duration but i don't want you to watch all the quick revision videos our strategy would be simple these btr videos which are you know significantly based on the pyqs and they cover a lot of pyqs majority of the pyqs these we have to cover in 48 hours for some subjects we would focus only on the btr videos so we are going to add bonus btr videos also like in pathology dr zainab has done a lot of integrated videos so she tries to combine pathology pharmacology and medicine so for general pathology we will use bonus btr bonus btr the one that you can see in board for general physiology again we will use bonus btr for biochemistry we will not use it microbiology again we will use it pediatrics no ophthal ent we will use it anatomy will use it dermat we will use it anesthesia no orthopedics no integrated medicine very important we will use it surgery no forensic no psychiatry no obg we will use it and then uh, not for psm so btr videos we use for all the subjects for bonus btr we are restricting ourselves to some subjects why because these bonus btr videos rather than watching them we can watch the quick revision videos for example i have asked you not to watch bonus btr video if you are lacking time if you have already watched them if you already have notes then please definitely revise them but we are talking about people who are studying only now who are starting now for them and also for those students who are primarily in bonus btr or btr i would very strongly advise don't miss on these biochemistry 7.2 hours dr smiley's videos they are beautiful just in 7 hours he has completed the biochemistry and see if once you do this quick revision videos of just 7 hours maybe maybe giving 3/4 uh, of the day the chances that you will get every question correct becomes very high similarly pharmacology grg sir is a legend for a reason when he teaches the entire pharma in 7 and a half hours it means that everything is likely to come from those 7 and a half hours only right you don't want to miss these psm just 6 and a half hours again somebody like dr vivek jain who has been teaching for 20 years he understands the exam better than anybody else the 6 and a half hours of content that he has chosen you can imagine how important that content can be do not miss this even for forensic medicine dr atul has done a wonderful job why have i added this quick revision video of forensic because if you look at the btr video anyways btr video bonus btr is for 3 hours so rather than that let's give 3 hours more and complete the subject more comprehensively medicine i i think dr dilip is one of the best medicine faculties today but if you are starting now you don't really have enough time to cover those 48 hours of videos so you can skip them and anyways you are doing these things from the btr so hopefully it will be covered but surgery the situation is different it's only 18 or 19 hours and uh, ask any of your friend who has learned from dr amrit nasta the way he teaches you don't have to remember things you understand things conceptually and more importantly it's only 18 and a half hours for a subject like surgery see medicine you can cover to some extent by doing pathophysio and all of that not completely of course but surgery is something that you cannot cover like this so surgery we have to keep ourselves strong pediatrics just 5 and a half hours by dr anand orthopedics i think if i can take one name who knows how to concise the subject that is dr purmaira in these two and a half hours of videos he has covered everything psychiatry also 4.6 hours i think most of the things get covered in those four and a half hours similarly radiology for by dr zaina 4.5 hours and anesthesia dr janvi has done a great job in just two and a half hours right 
so what i want is out of these 180 hours i have given you 65 hours 65 hours of your quick revision videos 48 hours of your main btr videos and out of the bonus btr videos around 20 hours so 48 plus 20 68 plus 65 it comes out 133 now you have 133 hours and you guys usually see videos at 1.5x 2x my suggestion would be do not go beyond 1.5x because it's not about completing the video it's about getting that information inside your head right seeing a video of 1 hour at 2x and then spending 2 hours in watching that video is the biggest stupidity that we can make rather than that watch a video at 1.25x maybe you would not have to stop again and again to understand so let's go back to what i just said for this 133 hours of content i have given you 200 hours i have given you 200 hours because i want you to complete these videos and read the notes and underline while watching the videos it's easy to underline the notes and if you find something else add it because then you do not get a chance to watch these videos again so this is what you have to do by may 25th all right from may 25th till around 12th of june where you get 5 days here 6 days here and 12 days here around 18 days around 150 hours you have to revise all these notes that you have made and do the pyqs if you take more time if you are taking more time focus only on the pyqs of neat pg you can not you can ignore the inict pyqs if you can do them that would be great but if you cannot do them neat pg pyqs i think in cerebellum app we have neat pg pyqs starting 2017 or 2018 so if it is from 17 17 18 19 20 21 22 23, 23 almost 7 or 8 years right these are extremely important and if you cannot do the entire inict thing at least 3 years of inict pyq should be done see you have got 18 hours i am i'm expecting that during these days you would be clocking at least 12 hours so 18 into 12 is 180 plus 36 190 200 210 216 hours right 216 hours i'm sure you can revise it and do the pyqs this is your first revision and then from 13th of june we start with a marathon program what is marathon program marathon program means in the last 6 7 or 8 days the teachers come and help you revise everything the question comes in the head should i study myself or should i listen to the teacher i would leave that decision to you or i would leave the decision to whatever you think is the best for you but i want to point out one thing the quick revision videos that you watched the btr videos that you watched and what are you going to what what you're going to see in marathon videos it's all in sync the teachers are same same the content is all in sync so if you do marathon you would be clocking 90 hours in 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 days almost 11 hours a day 11 hours a day of passive learning is much easier than doing it yourself and these teachers for example look at this pharmacology has been given 4 and a half hours when you tell somebody like dr grg that in next 4 and a half hours you have to complete everything in pharmacology that is relevant for neat pg you can only imagine what is he going to teach you he is going to teach you the super important things which are likely to come in the exam similarly look at it anesthesia 2 hours psm 5 hours anatomy 5 hours psychiatry 2 and a half or 2 hours and in this you also have mega btrs so dr zena will come and do her first mega btr for 4 hours similarly other subjects and then you have like mega btr 2 mega btr 3 right uh, i think there are two more uh, btrs here which are not in this schedule so this is this schedule is still still being made but uh, this is like uh, uh, the final schedule would be quite similar to what i have written here this is your second revision just before going to the exam because we are finishing this on 20th and 23rd you have exam 21st 26th you can relax or uh, revise your own what you can also do is if you want to revise yourself some of these lectures you should not miss some of these lectures by you know teachers like grg sir vivek jain sir you should not miss because when you ask somebody like grg sir you should not miss your selji lectures you when when you ask these big teachers to you know complete their subject in few hours they do the absolute best i would advise complete the ma marathon 
right this is our plan this is our plan and i have shown you all the numbers the biggest thing that we need to remember I i'm sure you guys are uh, uh, subscribers already of uh, cerebellum app if you are not you can go and subscribe it cerebellumacademy.com we do not have a one month plan or two month plan unfortunately the shortest plan is for six or seven months but that is what we have finally what i want to tell you guys is the time is not the limiting factor here the time becomes a limiting factor after you ensure this thing after you ensure that you are doing your best only then we can talk about the time time does play a role time is of course limited but it's not that 50 days are too less and we cannot crack the examination we can crack the examination students there is there are times in your life when you have to write a story for yourself for example those 40 days story i tell students every year and i'm proud of it whenever i get in some kind of trouble in my life i remind myself that if i if i could crack a pg entrance examination in 40 days i can do anything that's my strength similarly you have to write your story and there's no better time then one and a half months before the entrance examination to write your story you have to take your preparation to the last day do not entertain these questions that whether it is possible or not do not talk to friends who talk to you whether how many subjects you can complete what you cannot complete you have to you have to just you know remove all these noises from your mind you should not let any of these thoughts enter your mind your mind should be preoccupied with only one date 23rd of june that is the only date that should reside in your mind the moment you get up in the morning you have to think of that date and you have to work accordingly you should not be spending time on social media you should not be spending time on instagram or facebook you should not be spending time on twitter you should not be spending a single moment discussing about the politics you should not care about who wins the elections you should not care about any of these things because this is the time to care for yourself what you are going to do in the next 50 days is going to stay with you for the rest of your life whether you get selected or not that is okay what i want is when you get out of that examination hall on 23rd of june you get out with the satisfaction that i did what i could i gave my best and that's it that satisfaction should be with you you should ensure that you use these 50 days in such a manner that you get out of that examination hall with at least that satisfaction if you can do that if you can go beyond what you expect from yourself if you can make that exam the biggest preoccupation of your life if you can sacrifice everything else in life take it from me you would definitely crack this exam no force in the world can stop you from cracking this exam if you get preoccupied with this exam study hard get selected and message me after getting selected we will celebrate together may god bless you all take your preparation to the last day